Rusty Quill presents Trees Forgotten, Episode 6, Lady. I'm not a slug. I'm a cop. What? what? You heard me. I said I'm a... I'm a cop. I could swim good as a... You're a slug. Oh. I don't feel good. Oh. oh, come on. Get her in the bed. Gently, gently. We will not wake her by hitting her head. More is the pity. Not helpful, Inez. What can I do? What's wrong with her? Is it the sickly dummy from the bad fish again? Inez, get the blankets. She's got a fever. (laughs) She will be well, Baker. We will see to it. Shall I mop her brow? Make a broth? Bring cold water? (gasps) I could read to her from Homer. I find the original Greek most soothing. Andra moenepe. Mosa polytropon. Osmala polo. Yes, do all of that, Siva. Except the Homer. <sighs> it is a fever. Quite simple to nurse, and Alestes is strong. Is she? I tell her not to overexcept herself. She gets these tired spells and... Uh, hmm. then... What? I do not like how her heart is beating. Feel? Get off me, you snake-bellied. I can take all of you any day. (laughs) I suppose we should be grateful that she is still Alestes, even dreaming. My girl's return! And they've only gone and got the bloody swag! (laughs) Well, Gammon, credit where credit's due. You couldn't have done it without me. Hem. Us, yeah. Me and Annie here. Anne. Have come up with the goods once again. <laughs> all right, all right. Enough showboating. What do you want, a bloody medal? Just our fair share of the prize, Oaklon. Oh, of course. A third for Alestes and a quarter for Anne. What? Baby, that'll teach you to keep a civil tongue in your head. But, but Alestes... Alestes what? The way you talk to him is a thousand times worse than the way I do. I've earned the right to talk to him like that. Earned the right to be a cheat. Hold your tongue or get your pay docked, Anne, again. You want to know how I earned the right? How? By being better than you. I'll fight you any day, any way, with whatever weapon you can get your sea rat paws on. Wait, wait. Right now's good for me. I thought you'd never ask. I hope you've got a will, because... Enough! Finish it! Shut up, all of you. Pissing about with brawls when there's money to be made. Put your swords away, girls. And now... Alestes, come on. That's better. All right, get the backs out of your fetid ears and listen up. Duty Ruster, Jammy, you're swabbing decks. Pike, cooking, card. You are on barnacle duty. Alestes. Crow's nest. Alestes. What? Not now. I have to listen Alestis. to... Alestes. Anne. Gammon. Ah, there. It's all right. They can't hurt you now. Those names. 
It's 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 nothing. Anne is the pirate who kidnapped me. The one with the bamboo flute. Oh, does it matter? That's the past. I do not think Siva being abducted and held at knife point two weeks ago can be said to be the past. Yes, it was very traumatic for me. I still have trouble sleeping. It is clear that your past is rapidly becoming our present. No, we need more broth. Send for Inez then. Yeah. I am sorry, Baker, but if people are coming after us and you know who they are, we do have a right to know. Yes, you do, but Alesti. You said before that your story was not only your story to tell. You were right. This is now our story too. <sighs> they were called the Florists. The crew that Alistair and I sailed with before, the Neto Wanson. The Florists! Oh, I thought Anne was asking me about horticulturists. No wonder she was cross. I was just a ship's cook, a skivvy. But Alistair, she was his star pupil. His? Gammon. Commander of the florist and captain of the galloping Englishman. <laughs> Gammon. Yeah, it was a nickname, and not a kind one. But it's good for those that have power to laugh at themselves now and then. Makes it easier to believe they're your friend. What happened? We sailed, and we fought, we plundered, we set sail again. I saw Alistair's becoming something else, something she hadn't always been. I wanted us to leave. She put away a tidy sum, enough for us to return to go anywhere we wanted. She wouldn't hear of it. I think she was enjoying herself too much. But you're here now, so... What broke this galloping Englishman's spell? My God, old man, where are you taking me? Now, now, Alestes. Good things come to those who wait. Come quicker to those who nick them. <laughs> oh. oh, you are a chip of the old. Oh, never mind. No, go on. What? You can say it. What? You think I'm good. <laughs> you think I'm a natural. Do I now? The most fearsome buccaneer on the seven seas since Anne and Mary strapped on breeches. Oh, is that so? <laughs> It tripped me. You want to be the most fearsome buccaneer on the seven seas? You've got to be quicker on your pins than that, girl. Limey bastard. Oi! English bastard. Right, we're here. Here looks suspiciously like everywhere else on this godforsaken spit of land. Here is where we start looking. For what? Treasure. Oh, you really are a grubby little thief, aren't you? Yes. Treasure. Come on then, where's the map? No map, not for this one. Then what? Hush your yap, girl, and I'll tell you. There's a story to this hoard. Uh, of course there is. <clears throat> there are many ways to lay markers back to treasure, they say. Maps, notches in trees, instructions whispered in a sleeping mermaid's ear. Please don't go near any sleeping women, gammon. Do you want to hear this or not? Fine. But there's just one way to ensure that only the bravest and truest find what you've laid in the dirt. Now, I've taught you to dig, yes? How to pick a spot to hide uh, sensitive items from the lawn. How to slip a boat onto a quay by moonlight and be off again, without so much as a whisper to tell you you were even there. Yes. Exactly. You were trained, girl. Just like generations of honest privateers before you. And if there's one thing privateers like... It's a pet. Jammy with his monkey. Pike's got that old cat. Kai with that bird that shits everywhere. Kai with that bird that... Yes, exactly. But before monkeys and cats and incontinent birds, there was an animal that was favoured of buccaneers everywhere. The sea turtle. The sea turtle? It's true. True as I'm standing afore you now. And the more these pirates looked after these turtles, the more a special bond grew up. Every captain who buried his treasure released two sea turtles at the same time, each fed with a tiny, tiny nugget of the gold he was hiding. 
And if you can find those two turtles that belong to a particular treasure, and you ask them with the right words and the right manner, why, they'll lead you right back to it. Easy as eel pie. Bollocks! No, it's true! Oh, you almost had me there for a minute, you wave-faced, clothed, treasure-seeking turtles! Of all the things I've ever heard, that has to be the stupidest damn... Are those? No. <laughs> Don't be so sure of yourself, Miss Celestes. There are more things in heaven and earth. Turtles, it's not a story's cabin. Her heartbeat's rising again. So is her temperature. Oh, no, 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 no. Siva, we need more water, more clothes. Get Ennis to help. Good. Inez, take Siva. Get as many rags as you can find. We're being followed. What? Off the starboard boat. Just a rowboat, but it's been tailing us for the last hour. Why, oh, not now. What do we do, big man? You make Alistair's well. She's your captain. Innes, get up there and keep an eye on the boat. If it gets any closer, you let us know. Siva? Rags and water. Yes, I know. I can't keep. I have to stop. <sighs> Come on, girl. Put some belly into it. I'm digging faster than you, old man. Oh, you're half my age. You should be eating the seabed by now. Fine. Oh. 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 Here. Uh, that's best English ale there, lass. No oh, kidding. What do you want, Alestes? Some beer that doesn't taste like piss would be nice. No, no, no. From... All this. The beach. Life, girl. I'm asking you what you want out of life. Why? I'm curious. Most of my crew, they're a simple lot. And I don't mind that. Full bellies, weekly rum rations, and a pretty girl or two when we make port. Or, Anne's case, weekly rum rations, someone to kill, and a pretty girl or two when we make port. But you, you don't give much away, do you? Don't I? (laughs) Very good. You are a card. What about you, then? What do you want? Me? A simple chat, really. An easy life. A bit more than weekly rum, though. True. True, I've got some plans. A few more hauls like the one you brought in today, and who knows? There. I've shared. Now you. I want... the same, I suppose. Quiet life. Nice island to retire to. A pile of gold to keep me warm at night. That's all? That's all. Well, who am I to judge? In that case, I think we can come to an accord. What do you mean? A nice island and a pile of gold. I could fix you up tomorrow. But my contract... Early release. For good behaviour. This is a trick. You're not seriously offering to let me out. I don't make promises I don't intend to keep. Yes, you do. All right, yes, I do. But I don't renege on deals that are in my interest. Deals? Like I said, a private island and a mountain of gold could be yours tomorrow. What would I have to do? Get another cloth, Inez. I'm doing it. What happened? I don't know. Her temperature just shot up out of nowhere. Feel her heart. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. stop panicking. Just keep the bucket top top. You have to keep her cool. Baker, she's peeking. No, no, no. What won't? Can't. You can't make me. She's distressed. They're all distressed, Siva. Oi, enough of that. Go outside if you want to fight. Do we have any bananas on board? What? A banana skin laid across the forehead can help bring down a temperature. My nan used to... Siva? Right, yes, I'll go and see if we've got one. What was that? Sounded like someone boarding. I'll... I'll go and see. No, I'll go. 
Could do with banging some heads together. Be careful. Come on, Alistair. Where are you? You lazy sacks of ordure snored in your bunks. The Lady Alestes and I will bring it home. This! <laughs> Feast your eyes, boys. There will be buns for tea. Oi! Fingers! You better keep yours to yourself, or I will get my sword out, and everyone will wonder if that nickname of yours is ironic. <laughs> Bosun, get this lot down to the treasury, and heavy lock on the door. After Miss Alessis has taken her fair share, of course. <laughs> Don't you have jobs, you horrible reprobates? Get going! Another successful mission, was it? Hmm. You know, we could all be rich if he deigned to take the rest of us out on as many solo trips as he does you. I wonder why that is. Piss off, Anne. I need to sleep. What's wrong with you? You usually can't wait to crow about Daddy's latest favor. Nothing. Just leave it, yeah, Han? I need to see... Baker! Coward. Baker, we have to leave. What? Tonight. When we more so vulgar, we have to grab what we can and go. I've got my gold stashed in an apple barrel, so just be ready. Did something happen? We can use the gold to buy a ship, make a bit of coin on the trade routes, and then... Did you do something? No. It wasn't me. It was... Gammon offered me a deal. He said he'd buy up my contract. If... If... Alistair Hiss? He wants me to kill someone. Who? Me? No. But I can't. Maybe if I could, it would be better. No, child. You cannot buy freedom with something you'd regret for the rest of your life. I'm sorry, Baker. For what? As soon as we run, they'll come after us. It won't be easy, just you and me crewing a ship. Hey, you sound more like yourself than you have for a long time. That's enough for me. Captain? Captain. I do like the sound of that. Can you hear that? You what? You... You must be able to hear. Alistis. Alistis. Where are Baker. you? Baker. I, I can't see you. Baker, where are... The, the bananas. They're... Everywhere. Baker. It's all right. <gasps> I'm here. I'm here. Oh. Sweet. Where... This isn't my room. Why is there banana on my face? You are in the sick bay, Captain. You had a fever. Do you feel better now? Noor nursed you all through it. They were amazing. It was truly a privilege to watch. Myself and Baker have been keeping watch over you. Oh, good. Why are you all staring? Don't you have jobs to do? I think we can safely say she's feeling better. You can get out now. I'll just... Have a wash and a little nap and... and... That won't be possible. (laughs) Why? The ocean didn't evaporate while I was out, did it? Bring me some water. You have a visitor. In the middle of the sea? Am I still asleep? No. The road here boarded an hour ago. You're... You're going to want to get dressed. Oh. Fine. Bring me my boots. And my biggest hat. Get out of my chair. Manners, Miss Alestes. A merry host makes merry guests. Did I teach you nothing? Guests are usually invited, Gammon. Get out. I just wanted to have a little chat. A social call, really. 
You look like shit, by the way. At least that's unusual for me. Can't say I care for the service here, but it's always hard to find a decent cup of char outside of Blighty, isn't it? Whatever you have to say, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> I think you might. Why, have you suddenly become interesting in the last two years? Oh, oh. So young and so untender. I swear to God. I buried my treasure. You've... what? Business has been good since you left. In a way, you solved my problem leaving like you did. Anne's really stepped up since I gave her her own ship. So? I've got my own ship too. Whatever, Gammon. The money's been pouring in. A bit too noticeably for my comfort. So, I'm leaving some of it in an onshore account. And why should I believe you? You don't have to. It's a trick. Could be. Why would you tell me? Why invite me to go looking for your stash? Because I like you, Alestes. I always did. It's a shame we couldn't be friends, but we don't have to be enemies. My little birdies tell me you're trying to get into the merchant business. Pottery and the like. A clean break from all this nasty piracy. The treasure I've buried, it's more than enough money for you to afford what only money can buy. A quiet life. No more sailing. No more violence. As if I need handouts from the likes of you. Trade must be very good around these parts. Booming. Right. Well, information received. You can go now. One last thing. Isn't there always? My treasure. There's no map. No notches on trees. No words whispered in a mermaid's ear. Don't tell me. You'll need these. Bloody sea turtles. Give them then. Ah, 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 ah. Not so fast. You know me, Alestes. I love a deal. Yeah, yeah, the favour you had Anne extort from me by kidnapping my crewmate. I've already said yes. Exactly. You've already said yes. You've got to sweeten the pot a little more than that, my dear. Give me something new. Something... original. What would you want for the turtles? Well, that's not the question, is it? The question is, what are you prepared to give? Price Forgotten is a podcast distributed by Rusty Quill and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The series is created by Nemo Martin and directed by Rafaela Marcus. Today's episode was written by Rafaela Marcus and edited by Nico Vitesse, Maddie Searle, Catherine Seaton and Catherine Rinella. Price Forgotten features Rebecca Bruff, Vic Zander, Shahan Hamza, Ashley Go, Gigi Zahir, Naomi Bartu, John Chu and Tim Meredith. Tries Forgotten is produced by Ian Gears, Lori Ann Davis, and production manager Natasha Johnston, with executive producers Alexander J. Newell and April Sumner. To subscribe, view associated materials, or join our Patreon, visit rustyquill.com. Rate and review us online, tweet us at the Rusty Quill, visit us on Facebook, or email us at mail at rustyquill.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>